Google Form, specially used to create survey form. However, as per my friend's request, today I am making one Google Form tutorial to create computer science objective questions. So make sure please watch this video from beginning to the end. First of all, you need to log in Gmail account with your valid ID and your password. So let me use my email and password here. Then click next button. Upon successfully logging your Gmail account, you will see this screen. Now you go here, Google Apps, then choose Drive. On the left hand side, you will see here new. So just click here new menu. Then go to more. Afterward, choose Google Forms. Now you will see Google Form interface. Now let me rename for this form. Suppose computer science objective questions you can also add here one picture so let me add one picture here browse suppose okay this picture now it's uploading image let's wait Okay, here we go. So now we can also give you the title. Maybe Dota Club. Now let me show you how to add text field. Just go below, then click here, choose search answer, and then type name of student. Okay? And make sure this required field is on. If this on means no one can skip this input field. And let's add another again. Suppose roll number. And we'll do here duplicate. Okay, so here roll number. And this roll number should be numbers, right? So it will come here automatically. And make sure the required field is on again. Now we will add class and section so we'll choose here multiple choice grid okay here the class is suppose uh, 10 okay and uh, here the column uh, let's have section A add another column section B C and D so they can choose class 10 A class 10 B C or D it's like that now let's have one multiple choice question here so let's do duplicate again here then it's a multiple choice okay let's type question number one the recommended computer room temperature should be da 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 dot degree Celsius okay and the answer here number one 10 to 15 and next maybe 16 or 15 to 18 and next 20 to 24 and last one we can put 25 to 35 so here they can choose only one correct let me add here another two or false question so question number two is still multiple choice okay 
So let's type here question. Scan this. We will check the files and folders of the selected drive for any errors comma lost clusters comma lost change and bad sectors okay so here the answer will be true or false and the rest one on necessary part you can delete just cross here remove then remove now let's have different questions like select the best answer for the following so how to do that again let's have duplicate first let's type question number three and let me type here question common computer security is and we will choose here check boxes okay so it can be hardware security it can be software security or none of them so here student can choose multiple answers now let's have another questions like write technical term of the following so on that question student will type the correct answer so let's duplicate first question number four let's type here question the software used to scan a computer's memory and this to detect viruses okay for that case we will not give here multiple choice so it's a short answer and student will type for that case the correct answer is it's a antivirus software so now let me show you how to preview this form the scroll up you will see here preview okay click here and this is a exact form everybody will see computer science objective questions okay require means whatever the red color here means nobody can skip that input field so let me type here name of student okay if I type your name as a text will be error so it should be number okay so number okay one two seven 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 and section ten then a for this question number one for me the correct answer is okay this one so they can choose only one because of that radio button and question number two scan this will check that is a true and question number three common computer security is both are correct so they can choose multiple correct answer and the last one is question number four okay the software used to scan to detect the virus so that is called antivirus software okay once they have done then they can submit so it will record now automatically in Google Drive a while ago I have already submitted one form therefore it displays here responses number one so to check their answers just click here and summary is overall the answers of students if you want you can also check by questions by selecting the question number and it will display here the correct answers and also you can check by individually it will display here number one to many as long as the student they have submitted their answers and you can check there by names okay so who has submitted what answers so all of those things you can check if you want you can also print directly to your printer otherwise you can export those records responses to your Excel file okay then just click here and download responses so it's a comma separated value now it will download here it's already downloaded so you can open this one 
and it will open automatically in Excel format so from here also you can check their correct answers now the question is how to share this Google form to all students via school app or messenger or email okay for that case you need to click here send button so you can share from here Facebook Twitter you can send via email also you can type directly here their email address okay or if you want then you can copy link file just click here so this is a link and copy and paste it in notepad okay here you can paste it so this file you can send via messenger via school app so whichever is preferable for you you can just copy and paste finally you can also customize theme just click here for the theme color you can choose whichever color okay background color so you can change and some I hope style. this video will help you how to create free Google form if you want me to create any other videos please feel free to comment below and lastly don't forget to like and share this video thank you have a good day and God bless